little background here. I've been involved in literature ministry for many, many years, 40, 45 years. And uh, we work a lot in third world countries. Um, my wife and I lived in India for 10 years and we're still very much involved in India. And about four years ago, we um, uh, had a new project that we began working with, which was a little booklet for evangelism. Uh, we'd done something similar about uh, 25 years before and felt that it needed updating, so we worked on the text. And I went to uh, India uh, really looking for somebody who could do the illustrations. And I met uh, a mutual friend of ours in uh, Delhi, Alfred Luther. Uh, actually, it was his father I, I met. And I said, Brother uh, uh, Alan, do you have any suggestions on who could do illus an il illustrations for this booklet? And I showed him the text, and he said, well, why not talk to my son, Alfred, who does uh, cartoon-style illustrations for uh, the government of India and other, uh, uh, all kinds of organizations. So we went for lunch and uh, showed Alfred the text, and he said, yes, I think it, my kind of illustrations would work for this booklet, except we can't do uh, Jesus in that style, so we need another solution for that. And uh, this was the booklet that actually came out uh, from that meeting uh, four years ago, four or five years ago. Uh, in these last four years, five years, more than 1.5 million copies of this booklet have gone out in 13 languages, and there was tremendous fruit from it. So um, Alfred said to me one day, Frank, we need to make a movie of this book. I know nothing about movies. And Alfred said to me, well, you know, may maybe you can find some, some uh, animators in China or the Far East. So I made some inquiries and came up with nothing. In the meantime, Alfred came in contact with uh, uh, an animator in, in Chennai in South India. Uh, Praveen, his name is. He'd won some awards from the British Council. He'd been in the UK and done some uh, ads for, for uh, universities and colleges here. So, um, uh, I fact, in fact, I met, Al I met Praveen here in the UK, and through him I was introduced to, uh, uh, to a script writer from the UK. So, within a fairly short period of time, we saw God putting his team together for this movie. I mean, I was really scared stiff. I know nothing about movies. I, I knew about the print, print media. But I mean, our, our, our passion is to share the gospel, to uh, tell people about uh, Jesus and how they can come to know him themselves and, and how their lives can be, be transformed. So, um, uh, I mean, we, we are, we're pioneers, really. I mean, and, and we're not, uh, although I'm from the UK originally, now live in Sweden, I mean, if we're going to do something that's going to be used in Asia, then, then it's going to be in partnership with local people. And so we saw the, the uh, animator, uh, the director of the movie uh, came from India. Uh, the script writer was actually from the UK. And then we had somebody who'd worked with the BBC who actually went over the script and made it more emotive and more suitable for, for uh, making a film. We had. Uh, uh, music uh, actually uh, composed and, and uh, done by an Indian living in Italy. The actors or the voices we had for the uh, English version of the movie came from uh, uh, here in the UK. Uh, but the, uh, we have three characters. One is uh, uh, a Bible character. Uh, we needed a very expressive voice for that, um, authoritative, and we used somebody with a slight African accent, and then we have uh, this uh, uh, cartoon or this uh, Anna, this uh, clay character, like Wallace and Gromit. <laughs> uh, the, the, this character was done in clay, um, and uh, that voice was had a slight Indian accent to it. But I mean, we had to try different uh, things in order to make sure that it worked. You know, so it was a, it was a very it was a very lengthy process actually, about three and a half years. Uh, that we worked on the movie. And finally, at the end of uh, last year, December uh, 2013, uh, we had the final movie. Well, in these, uh, now these last uh, few months, uh, the movie has been dubbed into to eight Indian languages and another four or five are in process. The biggest struggles that we face or, or, or challenges in one sense I think is, is communication and yet in, in another way 
Uh, I mean, communicating with the team members. Uh, in, another, in another sense, it's, it's not such of a challenge for me because I lived in India for, for 10 years and have worked there now for you know, 30, 35 years or so. So I know the people. And, um, but I mean, we needed to be, to be on the same page. I mean, even uh, spiritually. We recognized that this was a, uh, it, it was probably going to be a, a fight because everything we do when it's, uh, when it's on the cutting edge, when uh, God is taking us into new a areas, uh, there is a bit of a fight about it. But the, the, the great thing is that the, the victory is already won for us as, as believers. The Lord Jesus Christ has already won the victory and we just have to claim that uh, day to day. Um, so uh, communication, of course, because I mean, although I visit India from time to time to time, I mean, I I'm live most of the time in Sweden. So a lot of the communication, although there was face-to-face, -face, uh, of course, meetings, but a lot of the communication was over the internet, by Skype or by, by phone. So we, uh, we were in contact, I mean, at least once a week, if not more. And uh, keeping it on track, um, according to the, the timetable we set, that, that was a challenge. But we, I mean, we had to be and we are persistent. I mean, here we have a goal to do something. We, we are not going to get diverted from that. We are going to reach our goal, even though, I mean, the, the project uh, developed very much over time. So where we had started with just a 12-minute uh, uh, movie, that was our goal, it, it became 27 minutes. And in the beginning, uh, we, we hadn't planned to make it a high definition, but uh, rather soon we decided, no, no, we, we need to, 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 to have uh, the visual part as, as high definition. And there were challenges, even uh, we used footage from the Jesus movie, which we had permission for. They, the the um, people who gave us the, the rights and gave us the material weren't able to provide us in the beginning high definition footage. So we ended up actually have, having to redo that section later on when high definition footage was made available to us. In the beginning of the movie, uh, uh, the preparations for the movie, uh, a storyboard was, uh, was prepared. And uh, then uh, the, the, the script writer began to work with the script. And we had, as a team, we had many comments, both the uh, animator and uh, executive producer in India and myself. And, I showed it around to people and discussed it. I mean, I began to live it myself. I mean, for three years, I lived the project, and uh, uh, it became a part of me. And I was very attentive to even the details of those kind of things. And then s when we started on the visual part of it, and we looked at it, and we had comments, and we discussed with the, uh, uh, with the director, uh, the, the, the uh, animator, and got his ideas and thoughts because he's working in that media all the time. But I mean, he was uh, he was stretched himself because he hadn't done a movie before. He'd done uh, ads for TV, uh, so it uh, it was in in one sense it was very good that we took a long time, <laughs> three and a half years, to 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 work with the project because his own skills were developing as the thing went along. But he had a, a vision for the project too. His father had been an evangelist who went from village to village in India, and uh, Praveen himself a very keen believer. So he was very motivated. He, even uh, financially, he, he didn't charge us anything like commercial rates. I mean, we had we had some outside companies working with uh, 2D and 3D animation, uh, which were of course had to be paid at commercial rates, but. We actually worked on a very, very low budget. And the vision, we're still in er early stages of distribution of the movie, very early stages. We released a Tamil version in January, but uh, the distribution there has been, and the, the, the marketing of it has been handled by a local TV uh, station or TV ministry, and they have a, a goal to mobilize Christians to use the DVD of the movie to reach their uh, non-Christian friends and family members and neighbors and so on with the gospel. So they're not even showing the movie on TV, not the whole movie. They'll show excerpts of it. And uh, then uh, 
challenge people to, to, to buy the movie pretty much at cost. I mean, just for a hundred rupees for four copies, a hundred rupees is, uh, is only about uh, just over a pound or something. Uh, so we're not in it for profit, but it excites me that, uh, that believers are being mobilized to take the gospel to, uh, to others. And so there, they have a huge vision to, to mobilize two and a half million believers to reach 10 million people with the gospel. That's, that's exciting. First month, they saw 50,000 DVDs go out. But in uh, the other languages which we have, so as another, another um, uh, seven Indian languages, uh, languages, major languages in India, uh, including Hindi, Bengali, Punjabi. Um, we're just in the beginning stages. But uh, one of the things that will happen is that those uh, evangelists and church planters who are using the literature will also take the movie with them. And they will go into homes and where there are uh, video players, uh, uh, DVD players, they will, uh, they will show the movie to the, the family and their friends, which will give, because it's such a direct presentation of the gospel, the salvation message, I mean, it will, it will immediately lead into a point where the worker can invite people to, to pray this, the prayer of salvation. So at the end of the movie, our movie, at, uh, uh, the, the, the uh, little clay character is saying, uh, you know, how can I become a child of God? And he's led through the salvation prayer. So what excites me is that a movie in India, or developed in India, and, and the visual part done in India, is actually of interest to, uh, to uh, ministries and churches and to believers in other parts of the world. And right now we are, we are talking with friends in Ethiopia about going into uh, several languages in Ethiopia, including Amharic and uh, Romo, uh, Tigrinya, Afa. So uh, I'm always, I'm always very thrilled by uh, being, being able to help the Indian church to take the gospel to other parts of the world because this is not a movie that we produced uh, this in, in, in the West. I was one, one of the team and uh, most of the, a lot of the work was done in India and the vision for the project actually came from India. So my role was really as, as a facilitator to keep things on track. But here we have now a situation where the gospel will go from India through the movie to African countries, to China. They want to have it in China, in mainland China, in uh, Albania. So um, it's really the, uh, I mean, the, the call of the gospel is make disciples of all nations. And uh, we see the gospel going forth from and even coming into this country, coming into Europe, uh, from other parts of the world, missionaries who come here, even from India or from uh, West Africa. So it's very much global. The gospel is global. And uh, so we're, we're excited to be a part of that and to be able to, uh, to help the church in India and bless the church in India, enable them to be more effective in their outreach. We are still at the, in the opening stages of the, the distribution of this movie, but I'm incredibly I mean, optimistic and e excited about it uh, be because I believe it is a project that is planned in heaven. I, I've had that conviction all along. And uh, usually, almost always really, when, when the Lord tells you to do something, there's, there's resistance, spiritual resistance. So we got that, which uh, when that happens, we can be at least for me, I'm pretty sure we're, we're, we're most likely on the right track. <laughs> the devil is interested in this. So it's, it's been a fight, but I know that there'll be tremendous harvest because there is no victory without a, without a fight. And uh, I'm very happy, uh, as are the rest of the team, with, the, with what has come out of all this work. Okay. Maybe there are things which could have been better, and yes, it was a low-budget movie. But uh, we can see, I mean, from the distribution that's been done and people whose, li whose lives have been impacted and changed. I think of one uh, Muslim family in India, and uh, the father was a secret believer in Jesus, and he showed the movie to his children. 
and his wife watched on in, in the background, watched the movie, and afterwards she asked her husband about Jesus, and as a result of that uh, discussion, which was initiated by the movie, uh, the whole family came to the Lord and are now reading the Bible together as a family. In another case, a lady had got hold of the movie or bought the movie to give to a friend, but she herself didn't really know the Lord, so she watched the movie, and as a result of watching the movie, she gave her life to the Lord Jesus. And she phoned to the uh, office of our friends in, in Chennai in India and told what had happened. And as she was uh, sharing how she'd come to the Lord, I mean, she was in tears much of the time. Her life was, was transformed. So the, the, the gospel is made so clear through, through the movie, much clearer than maybe in uh, movies of two or three hours in length, because that was our goal, to make the gospel uh, very clear and to raise objections to trusting in Jesus, to raise those within the movie, um, and so to pr prepare the way for the, for the viewer to, to pray to receive the Lord. The encouragement I would give to the first-time first movie maker is if God that has put something in your heart, a uh, movie, a uh, production of a movie, then go for it. Don't wait for the finances. Because if you're waiting for the finances, you may be waiting forever. So you have to take a step, the first step. And that can be the most hard thing to do. But as you take that and you see God's power at work and, and God's power release, then you, you get encouraged and you realize that God is with me. So nothing is impossible. And don't be discouraged, you know, by people who say, you can't make a movie. Who do you think you are? You know, kind of thing. Uh, I mean, the Lord will bring people across your path, I believe, that will, uh, that will help you that will ca and will have the expertise. Because of, yes, we want to be professional. So uh, we, we're going to have to think outside the box and to, to uh, look for people who, who can help us in the different areas where we need help. Because, yes, we need we need excellence, of course. I mean, people are so used to the visual media today. Um, so uh, maybe it's harder today than it, than it used to be. But uh, I mean, we have, uh, we have the Spirit of God <laughs> within us. So uh, though something may look impossible, there are no impossible um, impossibilities with God. Thinking of examples of how the Lord intervened to help us make the movie, I mean, from the very beginning, uh, through a, a friend in India, uh, Alfred Luther, we came in contact with the person who was to do the animation. I mean, it just so happened. He was visiting, I think, to speak in a, in a college locally. Uh, he was visiting the city where this friend of ours lived, and uh, somebody thought to introduce him to this uh, friend, Alfred, and uh, the d they had a discussion, and, uh, and Praveen was uh, interested and, and willing to, uh, to, to, to join the team. Um, I remember when we, we had the manuscript, and uh, it was good what had been done. It was done by somebody who was used to writing manuscripts. Uh, and then we, I, I happened to meet up with uh, somebody who I, whom I knew previously who had done script writing for the BBC. And I said, uh, brother, would you mind uh, taking a look at the script? And uh, he did, and he had suggestions for its improvement. Uh, if we hadn't have had that, we would have really lacked something. Uh, he made it more emotive, more suitable for, for filmmaking. We... Um, the, the person who did the animation also directed the movie. He was concerned that at some points that it was, it was uh, becoming a little uh, sort of disinteresting, uh, uninteresting. And uh, so, uh, again, we, we, we received suggestions from different members of the team as to what to do to overcome that and, and so that we didn't, we didn't lose the in interest, especially in fairly long sequences with the clay animation of character. So all the, all the way through, I mean, the Lord was helping us. I mean, there were, there were some pretty steep obstacles. I mean, when we were doing the uh, excerpts, that we, we had excerpts from the Jesus movie, and uh, 
we realized that the, or were told actually by the Je Jesus film people in, uh, in America, their studio, that, uh, uh, th that the, the footage was not up to standard. We, the, though they had thought we would be able to do high definition from the files they gave us, it wasn't uh, of acceptable quality. And they said, you're going to have to replace it. I mean, that was a time when a, a great disappointment, and especially for, for the, uh, the director, the, the mm -hmm. animator. I mean, he, he said, uh, when he heard that, we have to redo that? Well, only God can help us now, you know. But we prayed and we prayed and we talked about it, and eventually he agreed, okay, I'll redo it. It was a huge thing because the little clay character was put within the Jesus movie, and every uh, second was 50 frames. So there were things that came that uh, it could have split the team and, and uh, people could have said, it's enough, we can't do it anymore. But we, we had uh, many people praying with us and we prayed a lot ourselves and uh, we, we knew it was a spiritual battle. But through persistence, persistence in prayer and then encouraging one another and one of my tasks was to encourage the team members. I mean, I was on the phone to them at probably at least once a week and would call Delhi and then I would call Chennai and, and, and have a uh, conference call over the internet so I'd have people in uh, Birmingham here in the UK and uh, in uh, two cities in India and then we were in Sweden and we would uh, discuss and talk and there were sometimes things would be a little explosive uh, but uh, then they ca calmed down <laughs> and, uh, and we just kept going. So don't give up on your movie, you know. Uh, the devil wants you to get discouraged, but if the Lord has uh, given you a project to work with, uh, he will give you everything it takes for, in order for you to complete the movie.